So this uh, diaphragm uh, pressure tank is here in my food truck. This could easily work in a uh, RV as well. It's not very big. You see it's not much larger than the size of my hand. Previously to installing this, anytime I ran the water, I ran it full blast because there's a terrible pulsating noise and the pipes would uh, jar from the pressure that was coming from the uh, pump. It's a diaphragm style pump. So if you turn on the pump very slightly, it would boom, 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 boom. So I ended up getting this pressure tank and installing it. And let me show you the results of it. I did bleed down the tank a little bit. It was set to 25 PSI. And uh, I found it, the pump was coming on too frequently. So I bled off some of the pressure down to about 15 PSI. And now, when I turn on the water, right now the pump's not coming on at all. Now you hear it? And the sound is a lot less because that diaphragm is absorbing some of the... And my water flow has improved as well. And you hear it building up pressure inside that tank. Now if I open this up a little bit, I can use my water now without the pump coming on so regularly. Still hasn't come on, still hasn't come on. You know, sometimes you just want a trickle of water while you're rinsing something out or you need a little bit of water on your pans while you're soaping them up. That's different here in the food truck. I've got to use soapy rinse and, and sanitizer, but still the pump hasn't, there it comes. So I really like this. I think it'll increase my pump life. It really saves on the noise. Um, maybe at least 50% and I, I imagine that I could set this tank perhaps a little bit less but I'm happy with the results all I did to install this I got an adapter to fit the uh, bottom valve it was three quarter and I added three quarter to half inch pecs and I crimped it on I'm gonna cut and install a bushing down there And then underneath, I just added it on the pressure side of the pump. So that's it. Total cost involved in this project of uh, this diaphragm tank, this uh, uh, pressure tank was $40, maybe $3 for the brass. PEX T and then uh, I already had the PEX crimp fits and then that adapter was probably $4 uh, so you know less than $50 probably $50 around about with tax so a peace of mind a lot less noise a lot less jarring of the pipes the pump doesn't come on as often I like it I would recommend this to all my friends Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the bottom. If you have anything else for me to try or review, let me know and I'll see if I can do it. All right, thanks everyone. Cheers. Wait, wait. Almost forgot to mention. I really like the fact that the water doesn't have that jarring effect anymore. You know, the pulsating from the pump. So that's a big enjoyment. Oh, didn't run up. There we go. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.